Let's work on question one in this video and let's understand what opportunity cost means. So first of all, what do we have? We have a job, meaning that we make money somewhere. Now we have an option to go to the park on Tuesday. So we have another option. What does it mean? We have two alternatives, a job versus going to the park. Now the cost of entering the park is $15 and also we have a cost of $5 for the gasoline and parking. Okay, so we have costs to go to the park. Now the benefit that we have by going to this park is $45. So we got $45. And we also know that we like this job so much that we would pay $10 to do it. Meaning that the benefit, the satisfaction of doing this job is $10 per day for us. So these are the numbers that matter. Now I know there's this, there's this notion of implicit and explicit costs. I want to suggest a slightly different way of looking at it because this thought process is going to help you also to think about profit maximization in companies, which is pretty much the analogy of profit maximization or benefit maximization of humans. Now look, the idea is this. I stressed in the beginning the word job and park, meaning that we have two alternatives. So we have two choices. We have two choices. Now, what is one choice? One choice is our job. So we have it over here. The other choice is our park. And we have to decide. Now, whenever we have to decide, we have to see how much we get in both cases, how much utility, how much satisfaction we get in both cases. Meaning that we want to know how much benefit we have and also how much costs we have. And the net result, the difference between them is our net utility. Now, if we do the job, if we do the job, if we actually work and we do not go to the park, it means we miss out on going to the park. So what we miss out in this case is our opportunity cost. So this is the opportunity cost. And whenever we make a decision between doing one thing or another thing, any decision between two choices, we are comparing one choice with the opportunity choice, with the alternative. Now let's use this in numbers over here. Let me zoom out a bit to get some more space. So in part A, the question is what choice do we have? What choice are we going to decide on if the wage of this job is going to be $10? So if our salary, if our wage is equal to $10 in that day. Well, let's compare. Let's compare how much we get in the job and how much we get in the park. So what, did that, what does that mean? Let's do it like that. In our job, we know that we have a benefit of $10 from the wage, from the salary, and we also have our own utility, our own satisfaction of doing the job of $10. So that would be a score, a gain, of $10 plus $10 equal to $20. Now let's look at the opportunity. Let's look at the other option if we go to the park because that's, that's the other suggestion. Well, at the park, we have a benefit of $45 by having the fun. So that's $45 there. But then we have to pay for getting into the park $15 and $5 for the gas. So we subtract the costs. Minus $15 minus five dollars for the gas 45 minus 15 minus 5 that's equal to 25 dollars and i think this makes more sense to look at it that way because now all we do is we compare two options we compare two gains here we gain 20 dollars net and here again 25 dollars net so in terms of utility in terms of benefit we're better off going to the park so from the first choice we are going to choose the park i hope this makes sense now let's look at the other option. What if the salary at that job is going to be $15 per day? So now the wage is $15, which means that at the job we are getting $15 from our salary plus $10 from our own happiness of doing it. So that would be worth $25 in total. At the park, we're still having the same as before. At the park, we still have the 40, 
let me just a second at the park we still have the benefit of $45 per day minus our cost of 15 and minus the $5 for gas which is gonna be again $25 well in this case we could go for either we have no preference which means we are indifferent between them indifferent and now the last one what if the wage at the job is $20 so if we get $20 per day by working well in that case we have a gain by staying at the job of $20 from our direct salary plus the $10 of our own satisfaction of doing the work which should be $30 and the park I'm just gonna write the net score right away because we know it's gonna be the same nothing changes there at the park we can see that our net score is equal to $25 well, in that case, we can see that $30 is more than $25, so we're better off doing our job. So here we choose the job. Hope this makes sense. We're done.